Like a half what? What's so funny? I just changed my clothes. Oh, I get it. Jim never wears his earrings this small, right? Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> the first uh, part of our second half, second act, we're going to dedicate it to something that happened 71 years ago. It's hard to believe that it did. Uh, most of us in this room were either not born or very little children. Some of us can remember air raid sirens and, you know, blackouts and things like that. But most of us here don't remember that. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to dedicate this part of the second act to the stage door canteen. In 1942, at the beginning of World War II, I'll just give you a little synopsis in case you're not familiar with what it was. In 1942, uh, a volunteer group called the American Theater Wing wanted to, set up a, wanted to set up a recreation center in downtown Manhattan to entertain and feed the boys that were passing through New York on their way to Europe or to, or to the Pacific. So uh, Lee Schubert, a very uh, major theater owner in New York, donated a basement in one of his theaters for this to happen. Uh, they sent out a call for volunteers, and 700 volunteers showed up the first day. They were given an orientation. They were told that this was very serious business, that if they couldn't keep their shift that was assigned to them, they should replace themselves. Uh, they served coffee, soda, Donuts and sandwiches. No alcoholic beverages were served in the centers. They had many, many major movie stars, theater stars, radio stars, would show up every night to entertain the boys. They not only entertained, but they rolled up their sleeves and they helped do the dishes and serve the sandwiches. And they would even get out on the floor with them. You remember the jitterbug of the third, late 30s and 40s. It was nothing like we do today. I mean, it was under and over, around the world, you know? Uh, and they would all be out there doing this wild jitterbugging every night. Uh, there was a song by Irving Berlin that he wrote and dedicated to Stage Door Canteen. It was called, of course, I Left My Heart at the Stage Door Canteen. He donated all the funds that, he, that was raised from this uh, uh, record to the canteen. And the canteen spread to other cities in, in the country, other port cities where they would have people coming in and out. And they all uh, stayed open till the end of the war. They it even went to other cities in, in London and in Paris, in Europe. So it was open till the, till the end of the war and it was something that, you know, was, was well remembered by everyone that served. Um, tonight we were supposed to have somebody here in this segment, and we all know and love him, Gil Doherty. And, yes, and Gil was supposed to sing in this segment, but unfortunately we all know that he got sick and he went in the hospital. He's home now, doing better, but he just that doesn't have enough stress to come here and sing for us tonight. But when I was talking to Gil during rehearsals, back before Sandy happened, uh, I was talking to him one night about the stage door canteen, and he said to me, yeah, well, when I was there, I said, you were there, Gil? You were actually at the stage door canteen? He said, yeah, I was. I said, well, how old were you? He said, I was 17. And he said, it was a wonderful, wonderful place. And I said, oh, I'm so glad you told me about that. It really makes it more relevant, what we're doing, you know? And unfortunately, he can't be here. But anyway, uh, the center uh, only could hold 500 people. And every night, up to 2,000 servicemen would arrive outside the drawer waiting to get in. So what they did, they divided it into shifts. And they would let 500 uh, servicemen in at a time. And they were allowed to stay there for like an hour, an hour and a half. And then they would let them go, and the next ship would come in. So the streets outside, as well as the street, that, you know, the floor, the center inside, was, was jumping every single night of the week. So we're going to do a little bit of this here for you tonight, just to take you back a little bit in time. <laughs> 